Hello guys, welcome once again to another YouTube tutorial session on bioinformatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw this cool phylogenetic tree using muscle and female. And we are going to do this in just four simple steps. We are going to download our faster sequences, perform multiple sequence alignments, generate the tree, and then render the tree to an image, which will be saved as a file for further processing. As usual, I've made available all the scripts on my GitHub page, and so you can go and download, practice, and reproduce with them. So no matter your background, whether you're a biologist or non-biologist, a beginner, uh, in intermediate in the field of bioinformatics, these scripts have been designed so that you can easily reuse them. The only requirements you need are to have a Linux environment on which is installed Git Python 3.6 or higher, and then pip. The core tools such as Muscle and Fimel are going to be installed automatically by the scripts so you don't need to worry about that so now let's hit the terminal and get our hands dirty so the first thing you have to do is to download the github repository that i showed so you can do it in two ways you can either use that git that i showed in the presentation or you can download the repository as a zip file on your browser and then unzip it but because i have my git installed i will use that one to clone the repository once the repository is cloned you can confirm that it's there and then you will cd to that directory and so in that directory we have the scripts and then the sequences there for us to use so the next step is to allow execution rights for the scripts by default Linux does not permit scripts to be run so we need to allow it and so we do that using the ch mode so you'll be seeing this particular command a lot in my tutorials because i use linux environments okay so notice that the colors have changed indicating that it cannot be executed the next step is to download the tools so the script to download the tools is here so we'll use that to download the tools okay so the tools have been downloaded so let's check once the tools have been downloaded we are going to see this directory being created okay and in that directory we are going to have muscle and final in that directory we are also going to have this directory created to be a virtual environment for python okay to ensure that the tools have been properly installed and configured i've also made available a script to test the tool so let's test that the installations have been successful so we do that using the scripts okay so the scripts will display the versions for the various tools so muscle final and then the bio python pydot and other python packages their versions will be displayed here indicating that they have been successfully installed so now we are ready to start the phylogenetic tree generation to do that we need a faster sequences and this is also provided 
on the GitHub page and it's to be here. So we can confirm that the sequences are there by using the LS. So we have the sequences there. You can also check how many sequences are there using this command. So we have six of them. Okay. So now we can proceed. To perform the multiple sequence alignments with muscle, it requires that we combine all the faster sequences into a single file. Okay, so let's first combine it. So we combine with the script combine faster. Then we indicate the directory which contains the sequences. Okay, and it's going to combine everything for us. And then it will display a section of the new file that has been generated together with the name. So it will be saved as all six dot faster. And so at this stage, if you have your sequences you want to try, you can just put them in this particular directory. Okay. And then use that for the subsequent analysis, including the combining of the faster files. So after we are done with the combining, then we can perform the multiple sequence alignment. And we do that using, using the multiple align.sh file. And then we indicate the file name for the the file that contains all the combined faster sequences, which is the all six dot faster. And then we perform the multiple sequence alignment. So it will be done within the split of a second because the sequences I'm using are not large and they are not, uh, they are just a few um, numbers. Okay, so once we are done with the multiple sequence alignments, we cannot generate the file genetic tree. But before I do that, I'll say that for the multiple sequence alignments, I do it in two stages. So the first is the alignment itself, and then the second is the refining of the alignments. Okay, so if you check the scripts, you have all the information there. So alignment first, and then refining. Okay, so we are going to have two outputs. You have the MSC, that's the faster format for the aligned file, and then the Philip format, that's the refined one. And that is what we are going to use for the generation of the file genetic tree. That's the refined alignment. So to generate the file genetic tree, we call on the scripts, and then we specify the refined file. A refined alignment file. And then it does it for us. Okay, so once this is done, two files will be generated, a final starts and then a final tree. Okay, so the file genetic tree is in the final tree. Then this one contains explanations about the model parameters used for the generation of the tree. So we will use the final tree for the final step. The tree is in the network formats. We can check it here. It's in the network formats. So we we'll use the Python package, which is BioPython, to render this tree to an image file that we can open and then view. So let's do that. So we do that by first activating the Python environment. This environment will be separate from any other Python environment you have on your system. I made it so that you can always delete this environment whenever you feel like it. So let's activate that environment. So once it's activated, you are going to have this. So this tells you that the Philo environment has been activated. So that's what you should look out for. Okay, so once it's activated, we can now call the Python script draw Philo 
and then we indicate the tree. And then it's going to generate the tree for us in an image. And so we are going to have two images displayed. Just one of them is printed here, but two are generated. We have the JPG format and then the SVG. So I made this so that in case you might want to edit the image, maybe add some titles or whatever, then you can use the SVG to do that. And so tools like Enscape can be used to edit SVG files. Okay, so this is for the generation. Now let's go to the presentation to interpret the results. Mine was on the desktop here. These are the files. So you can check it out in the view as well. So viewing it is what we get. This is the output we get for the phylogenetic tree. Now on the phylogenetic tree we have this horizontal lines. Okay, that's the branch length. So the branch length indicates the amount of genetic change over time. Okay, so com in comparing with the various groups, you can infer how much change has occurred in each of those sequences. Okay, by using the branch length. And so from this and this, this, we know that the change here is very, very big. Okay, now these values here are support values. We could also say they are confidence values, indicating how confident female is in what separating these sequences. Okay, and so let's look at this very one. The confidence values usually are in 0 to 1 or some tools will also use 0 to 100. Final, this one used 0 to 1. So if you have a higher value, which is, for example, this one here, a higher value indicates that the sequences in this region are clearly different from the sequences in the other regions here. Okay, so 0 0.952 indicates that the sequences here are clearly different because it's a high value. When we come here, it's still a high value here. So it indicates that the sequences here, the differences between this and this is high. Now a low value, which is usually 0 0.75 and below, but depend on your objectives, um, your criteria, the values might change, but usually 0 0.75 is considered low value. So a low value, for example, in this case, will indicate that the differences between this and then this group are not much. That is what these values indicate. Okay. Now, if you also know that the phylogenetic tree does not indicate how related organisms are. It only gives the sequence similarity. And so using it to infer relatedness among organisms can be a tricky business. Okay, repetition. Now this result I got is not surprising because of the species, the organisms are used. And so if you look at this one, this is Klebsiella species, this is E. coli. Okay, and so this high value here confirms that the organisms here are clearly different from this organism because these organisms are all Salmonella enterica strains. Hence, this higher value. Okay, so among the Salmonella enterica, Salmonella enterica 
you also have these differences here. This indicates a low value. Okay, so that means the differences between this group and this group is not too much, which is to be expected because they are all salmonella enterica strains. Okay, so this is bringing me to the end of my tutorial on phylogenetic tree, and I hope you try the script and get some results, and then we meet again next time. Goodbye.